Hello everyone, I'm just me and welcome to the demo section of our project text summarization and questionnaire generation using machine learning. So in this section, we will walk through all the functionality of our application that we have implemented in both CS 691, 692 class. So after uh, downloading all the required packages from required text file, I will run the Django server in which the application has been deployed. Run the server. So now our server is up and application is running. I will open the browser. And here I will give the application link. So our application is running. So as a new user, I will sign up first. So we'll go to this sign up now. And this is our sign up page. Here I have to give all the information like username, email address, password. I'll give the email address. In the password field, I can see there are some conditions. Conditions are like it should not be entirely numeric. It should at least contain eight characters and it should not be commonly used. So I user must follow all these conditions. Then I have to confirm the password. Once I have given all the information, I will sign up now. So my account got successfully created. Now I will log in. So I'm able to successfully log in and this is our home page in which we have landed. In home page, we will summarize our document. So let's get started. I will choose a file first. I will upload it. Once the file got uploaded, a list of topics will generate it and it will come here in that topic drop down. From here, I can select the topic. I have selected the topic and I will click on the question button. When I click on the question button, I will get the list of the question. These questions are generated based on the topic I have selected in the topic field. So these are the least list of the questions and I will select one question and I will give the select button. Once I give the select button, I will click on the answer. When I click on the answer, I got the answer of the selected question. I can see the answer is quite long. So I will summarize it. I will click on the summary button. Now I got the summary of the above generated answer. I can also listen to the audio of the answer. I will click on the narrate answer. This will open the MP3 player and the audio sound will get played. On examples of this evolution, Prehistoric sites with stone tools were almost exclusively found in areas which were not centers of. So in this way, the answer is getting narrated and you can listen to the answer. All this functionality we have implemented in our CS691 class. For 692, we have came up with few more functionality for our application. Those are upload, upload list, voice assistant, dictionary. We will walk through all this section one by one. Let's go to the upload first. So this section has been introduced so that user can upload their document and if they want to access them in the future. So from this section, they can do that easily. First, they have to select the username. Selecting their username helps them to identify the documents that they have uploaded. 
then they have to give the document a name. So I've given the document name. Then this date field is taking the current date and it's automatically, so user don't have to give it. Now user have to choose the file. When I click on the upload file button, it will take me to the upload list tab. In this upload list tab, I can find all the documents and the usernames. Here is the uh, document that I have uploaded just now and here the username is coming and here is a date. I can easily access to this document by just clicking here. Now the document, I can read it from here. Going back to the application. So this is the functionality of our upload and upload list. Now let's go to the voice assistant. In the voice assistant, what is happening that user is giving the instruction and voice assistant is giving back the desired result. This is helping the user in many ways. Uh, instead of manually searching the things like PDF and all, they can give the instruction uh, to the assistant and assistant will bring back that PDF. This is not only limited to the AVA application, you can also do the Google search or Wikipedia search as well. So now what gonna happen that I am going to click on this button and the voice, uh, and the voice assistant will respond back and I will give the instruction and it will give back me the results. So let's get started and we'll open the PDF now. Greetings, how may I help you? PDF. Which, Which PDF, PDF do you want to open? open? Indian history. Opening PDF. So PDF got open here. I will share that screen. So here our PDF got open. Now going back to the application. So now we'll do the Google search. Greetings. How may I help you? Google search. What do you want to search for? Planets. Here is what I found for planets. So here I got my Google search result. Now let's do the Wikipedia search as well. Greetings. How may I help you? Wikipedia search. What do you want to search in Wikipedia? Apple Inc. Here is what I found in Wikipedia. Apple Inc. is an American multinational technology company headquartered in Cupertino, California, that designs, develops and sells consumer electronics computer software, and online services. So this is our Wikipedia search result. What is happening in Wikipedia search is it's not only uh, giving back the audio result, it also displaying the information here. So this is our voice assistant functionality. Now let's go to the other section of our application, which is dictionary. This section will help the user if they are reading their document or they are reading a summary. If they're finding some word difficult to understand and they want to know the meaning of that word or the definition of any word, they can easily do it here. So let's search a word. So here I got the meaning of the word. Now let's search for some definition. Here, I got the definition of the environment. So these all are the functionality of our application. We have covered all this functionality in our CS692 class. One more tab we have to cover, which is profile. We have enhanced our profile tab as well this time. So now user can add their profile pictures and they can store their email address as well. They can easily choose their profile pictures from this, this field and they can update their profile. 
So this is the functionality. Now, logging out from the application. So one more thing here I have to tell you, if a user is returning back and if they forgot the password, they can easily reset that. They have to go to the forget password. They have to give here email address. And they have to click on this button. The instruction has been sent to my email address. I got one link in my email address and I will copy paste that link in the browser. This link will re redirect to, me, uh, to the reset password and here I, have, I will give the new password. And now I can log in again with my new password. So these all are the functionality of our uh, project. If you have any question, please let us know. Thank you.